Hi, I am Manojit. Welcome to the Ultra Cold Atoms and Molecules Lab at TIFR Mumbai. Our principal investigator is Dr. Saurav Datta. Here we cool atoms, molecules and ions to the temperature of hundreds of microkelvins. Let's have a glimpse of our lab. The first experiment that we are going to demonstrate is a precision measurement experiment in cesium atom. You all probably heard of cesium because the time standard is defined using a cesium atom a clock. But here we are not doing measurement on the clock transition. We are measuring very precisely the hyperfine splitting of 7D state in cesium atom. So this is our experimental setup. We use Doppler phi 2 photon excitation for our measurement and this is the laser that we use. It is a uh, CW laser and it is nearly monochromatic and the wavelength of this laser is around 767 nanometer. You can see that the laser beam is coming from here and then you send this laser beam through the entire uh, this experimental setup. You can see this ex entire experimental setup is covered for the, uh, for the stability reason. So we use this kind of cell uh, for, uh, for our experiment. So this is a cesium vapor cell. And this cell is kept inside this kind of magnetic shielding. So this magnetic shield basically reduces the earth field from 400 milligos to 2 milligos level. And then we send our laser beam through this cell and detect it back. And then detect the fluorescence uh, using this PMT. So this is how the spectrum look like. As you can see it is a very stable spectrum. We are averaging the spectrum in the oscilloscope. And this spectrum we fit to some void profile. And this is how we determine the hyperfine splitting. The next experiment is the laser cooling and trapping of lithium atoms. So first I will discuss the basics of how laser cooling works. In laser cooling we sign laser beam opposite to the atomic motion. Then the atom absorbs photon from the laser beam and gets a momentum kick of H cross K. And those atom goes to the excited states. This excited atom then decay back to the ground state via spontaneous emission. Those spontaneously emitted photons also give momentum kicks. But this absorption and spontaneous emission process repeated for around a million time. But since this spontaneous emission is an isotropic process, the average effect of the spontaneously emitted photons is zero. Effectively, the velocity of the atom get reduced. Hence, the kinetic energy of the atom is reduced, hence its temperature. So this is how the laser cooling works. Now we are going to demonstrate how to laser cool lithium 7 atoms. So for laser cooling we need very stable laser source uh, stabilized to the cooling transitions. So this is our experimental setup. This is our homemade external cavity diode laser. It has a wavelength output of around 671 nanometer. We use this single laser for the laser cooling as well as trapping of lithium 7 atoms. In this experimental setup, we have two parts. This part is to stabilize the laser frequency and this part is to generate all the cooling and trapping beams. So, for the later uh, frequency stabilization, we do saturated absorption spectroscopy. In this heat pipe, we have lithium atom and we send laser beam through this heat pipe and do the uh, spectroscopy and this the spectrum is look like this. We monitor our laser wavelength using a wavelength meter. Right now our laser wavelength is 670.96 nanometer and this one is showing how it is changing with time and this is not stable yet. Now if we locked our laser to the resonance then you can see that it is not changing. It is staying on the resonance. Now we are ready to do laser cooling and trapping of lithium atoms. Now we bring our trapping and cooling light to this other optical table via this optical fiber as you can see. Here we have our main experimental apparatus. The central part of our vacuum chamber is we call the three dimensional magnet optical trap section. Here we will do most of our experiment. So to laser cool the atoms in the, from the all six directions, we need to apply laser beam from the all six directions. We apply laser beam from this top to bottom from this direction and then reflect it back. Also send laser beam from that direction and reflect it back. We can see some of the laser beams over here. Now here we are simultaneously trapping the atoms also. For that reason we need to apply magnetic field in the anti-Helmholtz configuration. 
So we have two magnetic coil on on the top and on on the bottom of this vacuum chamber that basically is generating this anti-helmet magnetic field. That's why we are calling it as three-dimensional magnet optical trap. Now here is the other part of the chamber. We have this two-dimensional magnet optical trap. This is basically a source for pre-cooled alkali atoms. So now for this kind of experiment, you need very high vacuum. For our case, the vacuum in our system is 10 power minus 11 millibar. Now I will show the other part of our vacuum chamber. This part of our vacuum chamber is the Zeeman Silver section. This is the oven. Inside this oven, we have lithium atom in the metallic form. We heat this oven to around 320 degrees Celsius. Then lithium vapor is formed. So vapor then come from this direction. We sign laser opposite to the lithium vapor direction. Then the velocity of the lithium atom gets reduced. As the velocity gets reduced because of the Doppler shift, this atom goes to the out of resonance and the slow down process stops. To compensate that, we have this very weak electromagnet. Using this electromagnet, we generate around 300 to 400 Gauss of field. Because of the Zeeman effect, the energy level of the lithium atom then gets shifted and that Zeeman shift basically compensates the Doppler effect. And the slow down process happened in this entire length. After this slowdown process, this, those atoms enter into this three-dimensional magnet optical trap where we trap those atoms. Now we will show how this cold atom is forming in this three-dimensional magnet optical trap. As you can see, the cold cloud of lithium atom is forming slowly and we will switch off the magnetic field at the end and it will disappear. Gubai just explained how the lithium atoms are magnet optically trapped at the center of this vacuum chamber. So we placed this ion trap inside the vacuum chamber in such a way that the cold atoms are formed at the center of this ion trap. And after we have the cold atoms, we can apply laser pulse to ionize them and thus the cold ions are stored inside this ion trap. Hi, I am Shatta Pruta. So as Manojit has discussed, to trap the ions, you have to apply RF voltages into these rods and DC voltages into these end caps. Now, after the trapping, you also have to detect the ions. To detect the ions, we have to turn off the DC voltage into one of the end caps so first, so that the ions will be pushed into this direction. And we have a channel electron multiplier in this place, so that can detect the ions. So, currently I am working on building a very first high voltage switch for this application. I am Rahul Mahanthu. In our lab for many cold atom experiments, uh, we need to short down the laser beam within uh, millisecond order. So for that purpose, I have built uh, an optical shutter. Um, this optical shutter is made from this discarded hard drive, which contain this uh, magnets and this voice coil actuator. This voice coil actuator contain coil, and when current passes through these uh, coils of the voice coil actuator, which is placed within this magnet, it causes experience of force, uh, which cause the motion of this voice coil actuator. So to cause fast enough motion of this uh, voice coil actuator, we need to send high amount of current through this uh, coil and we are providing that through our circuit by providing a TTL pulse to our circuit and to stop the beam, I have attached the aluminum clamp. This is the path for the laser beam and here is the optical shutter which is blocking the beam within millisecond order. That's it for today. We hope that you enjoyed our lab tour. Feel free to visit our lab. And also do follow TIFR Optical Student Chapter in Facebook and Instagram. Bye. 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 Action. Action.